हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू दी थर्टी फर्स्ट सेशन ऑफ क्रिएट कस्टम एलेक्सा स्केल यूजिंग ए डब्ल्यू एस लेमना फंक्शन ट्यूटोरियल्स फॉर बिगिनर इन दिस सेशन वी विल लर्न हाउ टू यूज अकाउंट लिंकिंग समटाइम्स यूर स्किल्स में रिक्वायर कनेक्टिंग द अकाउंट टू ऑप्टेन द आइडेंटिटी ऑफ एन एलेक्सा एंड यूजर फॉर एग्जाम्पल स्किल्स लाइक ऊबर रिक्वायर योर आइडेंटिटी बिफोर बुकिंग अ कैब यू कैन इंटीग्रेट एग्जिस्टिंग यूजर विथ ओ ऑथ 2.0 authentication uber has done this but if you don't have an existing user base then you can also use login with twitter facebook google or amazon to create own user database in this session i will use login with amazon functionality let us switch to the browser and integrate this login with amazon functionality with our skill open developer console click on app and services Select login with Amazon. Click on create a new security profile. Write any name that you want to use. I am writing LWA for skill. Add small descriptions for this profile. And provide privacy page URL. Here I am giving home page URL of my site. Click on save button. Here our new profile is created. Click on show client ID and client secret. Open scale console. Click on account linking. Enable account linking. Authorization type will be auth code grant. Authorization URL will be amazon.com slash ap slash oa. Write api.amazon.com slash auth slash o2 slash token in token URL. Copy client ID from your profiles. Same for secret. Select HTTP Basic of Authentication Scheme. In scope, we need to specify things that we will obtain from our API. Here we need to obtain profile, so write it. Open Developer Console. Click on Edit Web Settings. Click on the Edit button. And copy paste those three URLs to allowed written URL. And click on save button to add those. We also need to save account linking setting. We have successfully set up account linking in our scale. Now I am going to create a new intent from which I will obtain mail id of logged in user. So use what is my mail id as an intent name. Here the user may say what is my email id or what is my mail address. Let us build the model. Open Visual Studio Code. Create a new handler for what is my mail id intent. Access token property of session contains token for logged in user. Let us obtain it. If it does not exist, means the user is not logged in. In that situation, we need to prompt the user to log in. For this, use with link account card method. If we have access token, means user was logged in, then I am creating new prompts.
and call to get email address method. We will create this method later. You can also use different name. Pass access token and callback function here. Set speech to error occurred to retrieve data. If we got a response, then update a speech text to Hey name Your mail id is email Generate response using the speech and pass it in the resolve method. Now we need to create get email address method. Declare request options and set host to api.amazon.com. In path specify URL for profile and also pass token in the query string. HTTP method will get and here I will use HTTPS module. You can also use other modules such as request. In request method, pass request options. Set encoding to UTF-8. Generate written data from each chunk. At the end of request, pass this data to the callback function. And call end method. And add this handler in request handler. Deploy lambda function. Let us test it on the device. Alexa, open the third demo. Welcome to third demo skill. What is my email ID? You need to log in to access further details. Here I was not logged in, so it was given login card in the application. Click on link account. Click login. Close this window and try it again. Alexa, open the third demo. Welcome to third demo skill. What is my email ID? Hey tutorials, your mail it is tutorialsteam.nnr at gmail.com. This time we got a name as well as email ID from Amazon's account. Now let us see what we have learned in the sessions. Sometimes your skill may require account linking to obtain end user's data. Alexa skill supports OAuth 2.0. In this example, I have used login with Amazon, but you can also use Facebook, Google, Twitter or own token too. First of all, we have created new login with Amazon security profile and enabled account linking in your sleep and fill appropriate data in this form and save it. The access token property specifies token that has been used to identify the user uniquely. If we don't have a token, then we need to show login card. If the user is logged in, then create a new promise and set token and callback function for this. Here is method that we have created in which I have used HTTPS to send a request to retrieve data. Here we have set request option and obtain all data from the chunk. 
You can also store those details in the database to create own user base. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubts, please feel free to contact me. Have a nice day.